I'm like, I'm telling you, Country Green Farm's going to have better turf than Home Depot. There we go, guys. This is Country Green Farms. So here we are. We ordered six rolls, and he even gave me an extra roll. Well, guys, I showed the customer the work, and he was happy. So, uh, mission successful. at Home Depot guys check this out what they offer for their uh, customers coffee cream sugar look at all this they offer all this that's no joke oh yeah so that was Home Depot uh, you know I'm gonna give them a nice five-star review because they offered all that um, although like their sod was horrible like it was black <laughs> I've never seen sod that was black like for real though, like I'm not discriminating, but I like my sod to be green. You know what I'm saying? I, I think uh, just green grass is more better. I don't know. Anyway, uh, this job's been kind of a nightmare. Um, freaking, <sighs> freaking yesterday, um, I got the job details and I was on the job. Or, you know getting stuff I needed for my job and uh, it just said need to replace the sod and remove concrete lids I'm like alright cool I'm gonna replace sod I'm gonna get sod right that's what one would think now I talked to my boss like later after hours of phone calls um, <laughs> and he said it means replace like put the sod back that's already there so it was a miscommunication but he, if he would have put more details on the thing saying replace the sod that's already there like those words I wouldn't think oh I gotta buy a new sod to you know put new sod so I'm replacing it because <laughs> it's messed up or something I figure you know I don't know so anyway I made calls and we were trying to trying to get sod at this McClendon's hardware place and they didn't have it and then they had another location that had uh, saw it, but it was ugly, they said, and I was like, all right, whatever. Um, and I kept trying to say Country Green Farms, and my company, you know, didn't want to do that. They wanted to do McLennan's, and then they were like, all right, Home Depot. And I'm like, I'm telling you, Country Green Farms going to have better turf than Home Depot. And then so they, they called Home Depot, and they said, well, our sod is ugly today, so come back tomorrow, and we'll have new sod. And so here it is. Today is tomorrow because that was yesterday um i go to home depot and it's it's black like black like oh my god dude <laughs> so um i'm actually going to country green farms now the place i originally wanted to get the turf like i know i know country green Farms. i used to run a landscape business man country green farms has the best freaking turf Ain't nobody gonna beat it. Home Depot probably gets theirs from Country Green Farms. And the reason why theirs is black is probably because it's been sitting there for weeks and weeks and weeks with no water or whatever the problem was. I don't know. But uh, we don't want that. My customer ain't gonna be happy with black sod. They'll probably laugh at me and then call my manager. <laughs> so, anyway, I am getting the sod now. It's all good. <laughs> I had two cups of coffee at the Home Depot to grab one of their bananas. That was nice. That's a nice gesture. Shout out to Home Depot and Hawks Prairie and Lacey. You guys are awesome. Offering bananas and donuts and coffee. I don't want no donuts, but you know, it's nice. It's nice of you. For real. I think they even had granola bars, man. They ain't messing around. For real. A long time ago, I used to work at Phones Road, Home Depot, which is also, which is Lacey, um, you know, kind of more towards uh, towards downtown Olympia. Uh, but yeah, the Phones Road, Olymp uh, the Phones Road Olympia, the Phones Road uh, Home Depot, they never offered that when I worked there. Like, they didn't have things like that for people. And that was about four or five years ago, I would say, so... Yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, I am getting my turf, and we're hoping this job goes smoother from here on out. And I can get an easy job after this. 
<laughs> Y'all can tell I'm, I downed two cups of coffee. Like, I'm wired. I'm feeling great. <laughs> All right. There we go, guys. This is Country Green Farms. What I'm talking about. Some nice grass. Country Green Turf Farms. Oh, yeah? And so I was, I was talking about you guys. I was like, man, I've been telling them we just need to go to Country Green. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Nice and green grass. I want my yard to look like this. We ordered six rolls, and he even gave me an extra roll. Oh, nice guy. I'd say that's a five-star rating for uh, Country Green Turf Farms. Even got a nice American flag over there. It's pretty cool. So yeah, he gave me seven rolls. Uh, it's more than six by eight feet of sod, and it was only nineteen dollars and like eighty cents, guys. That's cheap. It makes me want to just rip out my whole yard and start over. But then Keiko would probably tear it up, so I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> Say goodbye to Country Green Farms. Ah, that's a nice new road. Brand new. Nice and smooth. <laughs> Looks like they're currently working on it. This place is beautiful. I see why he wanted some new grass. Gotta keep it looking good here. So here we are. Basically, I'm gonna have to dig some of this out to make room for the turf. But uh, yeah, we're gonna make it look good today. Yeah, guys, I made him get me a new dolly. <laughs> nice and pretty. Goes up to 800 pounds. Lid's all cracked and ready to load on the dolly. See, we got our sod all loaded up. Shovel rake. Is the old lids all bust up. Time to lay some sod. Picked up real neat, and we're gonna lay some sod down. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, there we have it. All new sod. I think it looks pretty. It's not too far off of this grass. I mean, we'll blend over time. Well, guys, I showed the customer the work, and he was happy. So, uh, mission successful. It's a good feeling um, because I, I feel like he was kind of upset. That everything was a mess, and he said it looks good. So, I'm glad that he said that. And now I'm going to lunch, and. I'm gonna eat my I got I got leftover taco time that I got last night uh, like a burrito classic uh, you know probably not the most healthy thing you know every once in a while I'll stray away from the diet a little bit it's okay I'm um, burning a shit ton of calories anyway yesterday I worked uh, it was 10 hours so it was funny Friday I worked 14 uh, what's there Friday I worked 14 Monday I worked um, 13, 13 hours, and then Tuesday I worked 12 hours and, wait, is that right? Yeah, yeah, and then, and then on Wednesday I worked uh, 10, so that's kind of funny, like uh, every day as time went I worked one hour less pretty much, and uh, we made a total of 48 hours uh, that's going to be on this coming paycheck, so pretty stoked about that hell yeah so i got a good paycheck coming that is nice i last job the one that kept me out late i was working in uh belfair which is kind of like i guess by bremerton past gig harbor um i was working in belfair we were uh i was working with a, a plumber and we uh, had to fix a leak that was underneath a driveway so we had to jack jackhammer asphalt and dig a little bit, find the leak, and he had to fix the leak, but then he had to like go get parts because he didn't have everything he needed, so the job took uh, a little bit longer than expected, and uh, I had uh, I had hauled around like 12 bags of concrete. I kept like hauling around in the uh, wheelbarrow. I'd, I'd wheelbarrow it to the, uh, where we were mixing the concrete, and then we didn't use it all, so I had to wheelbarrow it back. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, uh, when I finished the day, it was literally like 9 o'clock or so, a little after 9, um, I had to wheelbarrow it all into this shed at work. So my back uh, was sore, and it still kind of is. 
feeling some pains a little bit in my right hamstring and yeah my back of my neck a little bit that's what this hard work does to you man <sighs> anyways guys i'm gonna go enjoy some lunch some taco time so i'll catch you all later hey guys we're gonna get we're gonna eat lunch here at the pilot Let's see if they'll let me use their microwave hell yeah they got microwaves and they said i can nuke my burrito freaking awesome Boom, look at that bad boy. Burrito classic. Oh yeah, guys, I got my burrito all cooked up. Eighty-nine. I just got like that. Put a little on the top. Mm. Delicious, man. Gotta love taco time. <laughs> it's a big dog, guys. Looks like a St. Bernard. Thank you.